Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. We used to sing the old song, gone, 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 yes, my sins are gone. What a great hymn, and you know it's biblical truth, isn't it? The Bible tells us in Romans 8, 1, there is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. The idea of no condemnation, no judgment, that once Christ died on the cross for your sins, and you, you've repented of your sins, and you turned your heart to, uh, and accepted Christ as your Savior, you know, your sins, your past and your present and your future sins are gone, G-O-N-E, gone forever. There is no condemnation. You will never stand at the uh, judgment seat of Christ if you're a born-again believer on the basis of judgment. He's not going to look at your life, what you've done, and, and, and call you into condemnation or judgment during that day. As a matter of fact, the great white, I mean, the, the, the judgment seat of Christ is for those who are saved, and that's really on the basis of reward. It really does matter how we live and how we serve and how we've dedicated our life to, to, uh, to serve Jesus Christ. And, uh, and people will say, well, that's a loophole, isn't it? It's a loophole um, because if there is no condemnation, there's not going to be judged, a judgment when we reach heaven. Uh, then Christians are free to do whatever they want to do. But in truth, if you've been born again, if you've put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, and you know you don't want to go back to the same old mess you once were. If you're once a drug addict, why would you want to um, go back to those drugs if Christ has set you free? If you were a uh, a uh, a, a bank robber, why would you go back into those banks to rob again? The Bible talks about the, 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 the dog returning to its vomit. You know, they, they spewed it out and they walk away and they go back to it again. And how foolish it is for a believer to go back into the very thing that once enslaved them and, and, uh, and partake in those things again. You know, I once... So, uh, I once told a friend of mine, there were two men in my life that I never wanted to disappoint. One was my father and one was my old youth pastor, uh, Pastor Ken Mahan. There were two men I never wanted to disappoint because they meant so much to me. They mean so much to me. Um, and the same is true about our Lord, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why would I want to do something to disappoint him? after all that he's done in my life, how good he's been to me, how, how much he's forgiven me. Let me make this very clear as well. Although there may not be any condemnation uh, when we get to heaven, let me tell you this, there are consequences for your actions here on earth. And um, natural consequences that God has already put into place. Uh, you know, the laws of gravity uh, apply to the righteous and the unrighteous, and uh, the, 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 the laws of man, the moral laws of man, and uh, there are consequences for those when you violate um, the law. You know, a, a godly man and a sinner will both get a ticket if they're, if they're driving 100 miles an hour. Is that right? The same is true here on earth. Although we may not be judged when we get to heaven, we'll be, we can receive judgment here on earth for the things that we do. And um, we can get sick because of partaking in certain activities. We can get addicted if we get into certain habits. We can, uh, we can lose our families if we, um, if we do certain things and, and different things like that. And, and so uh, people say, well, it's a loophole uh, no condemnation, that idea of grace is a loophole in God's character. No, no, no. Consequences still um, still uh, are, are around for, for believers here on earth. But in God's eyes, he sees you just like he sees Jesus. You're not Jesus. You're not divine. But because you're covered in the blood of Christ, he will not judge you because you're your sins have already been judged 
when Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.